comparative works is an add-in tool to SOLIDWORKS for carrying out topology optimization. Here's how it works. We start with the setup and initialize the part with appropriate units, material, or set them individually, the Young's modulus, the Poisson ratio, and density. Once you initialize it, a small DOS window also opens up where you can follow how the topology optimization is proceeding. Next, we set the boundary conditions. We're going to fix these two phases. Select the phase, fix boundary condition, apply. Similarly, on this phase here, fix, apply. And finally, we can apply a force in a vertical direction, downward force, negative y, force, negative y, force of uh, 100 newtons, apply. We're going to create a small mesh with about 6,000 elements, and a mesh will be created. And here is the voxelized mesh with about uh, 5,000 elements. And uh, just make sure that your boundary conditions have been set correctly. We can carry out a finite element analysis. We're done. And now we can look at the window that has opened up. And you should see the stresses, and these stresses are in the appropriate units. Since we selected SI units, these are in pascals or Newton per meter squared, and this is in meter. That's the deflection and stresses in the part. Now we're ready to carry out topology optimization. There are a couple of options. You can minimize the compliance or minimize the stress. We're going to stick with minimize the compliance or maximize the stiffness, in other words with a target volume fraction of 0.5. That means we're we going to remove 50% of the material. And you can set up various constraints. And for example, you can say don't exceed twice the current compliance, don't exceed twice the current stress state, maximum stress state. And we're going to skip this for now. And here we're going to say keep these two phases because these are fixed. I want to keep them. Do not remove any material around it. And we're ready to optimize. We can watch the progress in the DOS window. And currently, it's removed about 25% material. We're almost done. And it's been completed. The time taken is approximately 12 seconds on my desktop with 32 finite element operations. And we're done. And SOLIDWORKS immediately opens up the STL file, which you see shortly. So this is the STL file for minimizing the compliance with 50% material removed. And now we can go back and uh, either do a rapid manufacturing of this or recreate a CAD model from this STL file. We're now going to rerun the previous example, but at this time we're going to minimize the maximum stress rather than the compliance. Uh, all other parameters being the same, we're going to optimize the part. Now, this will take a little bit longer than minimize compliance because of the nature of the problem. Once this is done, it, as you can see, it takes uh, about 45 seconds to complete. Once this is done, you can see the geometry. And indeed, it's uh, significantly different from the geometry that we observed for minimum compliance. And these topologies are important depending on what your objectives are.